Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Real quick video today that might actually save you some money if you happen to run into the same problem that I just did. Uh, so I just recently bought a 2010 Ford Escape. My wife and I took it up in the mountains for our very first picnic in the new vehicle and the tailgate latch failed. You know, it's a electronic solenoid actuated tailgate. So you go to open the tailgate, you push the button, you hear something going on inside, but the tailgate won't actually open. You can't open the hatch, makes it a little more difficult to get at all the stuff that you brought for your picnic in the back of the vehicle. So now I'm back at the shop, looked up how to fix the problem. Apparently this is a really common issue with like 2008 to 2012 Ford Escapes as well as some other vehicles that use the same solenoid latch assembly. And the problem seems to be that the solenoid goes out. Uh, so the solution that most other commentators recommend is simply replacing the solenoid assembly, which is pretty easy to do, but a lot of these commentators admit that it's a fairly expensive part. I'm not sure how expensive, if we're talking, you know, $50, $100, you know, several hundred dollars, but either way, I think I've come up with a solution that'll cost you considerably less than a dollar. So here's the solenoid latch assembly that I just pulled out of my 2010 Ford Escape. You can see here's the actual latch mechanism that bolts into the bottom of the hatch. And then here is the electronic solenoid. Uh, so when this gets locked, then the solenoid is supposed to pull this lever and that unlocks it. Now, I'm not sure if the failure mode of the solenoid is always the same, but in my case, it looks to me like the solenoid itself is fine. It's just this little linkage that failed. Uh, you know, because the solenoid has to pull the latch, and I've got this little plastic piece on the end of the solenoid that presumably at one point hooked into uh, the unlatching lever, but it's broken on the end and there's a piece missing that would have made that connection. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just pop this little plastic linkage off since it's broken anyway. And then I'm just gonna tie that solenoid uh, arm to the lever with a little piece of bailing wire. Okay, so that wire should provide exactly the same mechanical constraint that that plastic linkage did, probably with something like 10 times the tensile strength and fatigue resistance. So let's put this back in the escape and see if it works. Okay, sorry about the wind noise. Uh, I've actually got the car parked outside the shop for this. Uh, but as you can see, I've got the solenoid with our improvised wire linkage hooked back into the electrical system of the vehicle before I go ahead and bolt it in. Uh, and to test it, I've got the latch in the position it would be in if the hatch were closed. And now if I just push the hatch unlock button, See, that seems to work okay, so I'll go ahead and bolt it in. Problem solved. Thanks for watching the Idahoan Show.